Traveler, please, over here. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurer's Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Hmm, is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Wait! Do you mean... Does that stranger's face look anything like his? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. Seriously? <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I can't just can't prove that you're related anyway. That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's requests. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. I wish you every success, adventurer. Ah, honorary knight. Is something the matter? A stranger with an eye patch. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. I lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual-looking person. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways, oh yeah, he was at Wagner's smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. What? You need something? Here, I remember him. He showed up a few days ago, asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's Share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> the Angel's Share? Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger, too, then. Anyway, let's go to the Angel's Share and have a look. What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? Hey Charles! Have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes, I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. And what's Master Diluc's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite the connoisseur. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's Diluc for you. If you're looking for that gentleman, he ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday. So he should be here today too. There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, best to go to the second. 
Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously ordered is here. He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. Traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? <sighs> well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So... Guess we've broken the ice. What a weird guy. Hmm. That little one beside you. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Sure. And he was so cold just a moment before. Hyman's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. 500 mora, and three answered questions. The 500 is a one-time fee, and we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Question 1. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that... Animo Archon who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. Is that your answer? Hmm, I see. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? So that's your answer? I see. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions, and those who did not. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? So, this is your answer then. I understand. It seems that you're different from her. <laughs> I'll take that 500 mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Ugh. Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being, one that commands the Abyss Mages. That's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too! We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all! There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to avoid your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something! Uh-huh! We're super strong! 
That manor, it's just like hers. Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the Abyss, the Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does naught but hover under the light of the gods. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. The scent of the abyss is getting stronger. It's not far now. Baima wonders what the abyss heralds look like. Do they look something like the abyss mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. Just a few abyss mages? Seems like that Herald might have already left. The Abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss, Dane. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Well, we're in Wolfendom now. Think Dane's waiting for us up ahead? We should meet up with him quick, in case the wolves decide they don't like him. Lord of Wolfendom, Great Wolf King of the North. Sharp of fang and keen of claw, and yet dwelling here only. No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right, let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. Well, where do we begin? Hmm, are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, scene? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. <gasps> do you think that those monsters by the bonfire are under the Abyss Order's control? Looks kinda scary. Let's beat them up first! Looks like this bonfire's also got something to do with the Abyss. And there's another one of those bonfire spells! Looks like the Abyss really has been around here. Yikes! Where did these monsters pop out from? Let's clear them out, and quick! Have you finished searching? I searched around these parts and found some signs myself, but they were left behind by abyss mages, and there was no deeper abyssal power to them. It seems that even an abyss herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads! Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's lair. But I suppose that this place is more lair than Storm Terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of Old Mondstadt, 
The dragon of the east had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Baima remembers that Tavalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Look! There are lots of monsters gathered over there! Oh, so in the end, we still couldn't find that Abyss Herald! Bummer! I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame, exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. N no you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that? Where are they now, anyway? She... <sighs> no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone, then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. <sighs> yep! And it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Mm, Mondstadt's fisherman's toast is pretty tasty. But Liyue's Wanmin restaurant is great too. Eh, either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Home. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should... Huh? What's familiar? A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well, or perhaps a monster. Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves, and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. Oh, Dean moves really fast, doesn't he? Let's use that wind current nearby to catch up. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane? What about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Huh? A ruin guard's footprint. A ruin guard was wandering around here? No peace to be found. Even for a single dandelion. Hmm. 
Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that she is still on this world. At this time... The most important thing is the journey to find her itself. Yes, and this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry, we will meet again. After all, I did take 500 mora and those three answers you gave me. <laughs> <laughs>